I always knew that I was going to live on a beautiful island in the tropics. It was just mind blowing to come here and be here. And I just felt the calling. I moved right down the hill here, right, right beneath the volcano. And the first time that I saw hot lava flowing, I just felt the heat just radiating into my, into my hands, into my feet. Just feel it viscerally in my body. It's indescribable. As soon as I saw the lava flowing down the mountain, I saw glass. It's glass. It's like I know the, the nature of the material. It speaks to me. I wanted to go to the glass studio and, and uh, see what comes out of me. So when I began working with glass, I realized that in order to be really creative and original, I needed to turn away from being inspired by other people's glass art and turn to nature for my inspiration. Once I got to Hawaii, I realized that glass is just like lava and it's just like the ocean. Both fluid, uh, liquid, and specifically lava, it remembers the experience that it's had in its creation, in its flow. As soon as the energy of the heat leaves it, it stops and it's frozen and it remembers that experience forever, forever. And that's what happens for me in the studio. It's, a, it's an experience. I'm so grateful to be able to be here, live here, be inspired by this, and be able to, to go into the studio and create. I really want people to to connect with themselves and with nature through this, uh, this dramatic medium of glass and this active volcano. The sound that I'm hearing, I can actually feel it uh, vibrating in the earth and I feel it in my chest. Feeling this, this heartbeat, this pulse that's happening, this drumbeat. There's, there's so much power and potential and danger and excitement. And what happens is magic. What the, the, the creation that comes out of it is almost unbelievable, both in the studio and here. I'm tuning into how the lava would be flowing, what the life of the lava is as this piece is being created. In the beginning, we're, we're shaping the, the main mass, and as the core of the piece is cooling down, we're getting closer and closer to, to the surface, closer and closer to the details of the piece. I just explored one technique after another, one to make it look like it's hot flowing pohoihoi to bring the reds and the oranges in, to make it look as if it's hot and flowing right now. By using different powders and frits, um, we're able to um, really capture what's, what's happening out here. The creative energy here is just bubbling to the surface. The pohoihoi is, is most glass-like. It's hot and it's runny and it's, it's viscous, it's moving how it forms and freezes at the same time and then opens up and then burps out another hot and then that freezes. Full of, of, of life and of mana and of, of this internal potential. We need to keep it a certain temperature for each stage of the piece. We really can't go backwards and heat the piece from the inside. So we need to be able to get the main shape while the whole thing is moving. And we have to work fast. We have to work fast and follow the wave of temperature that's leaving the glass. It's cool.
cooling and cooling and we need to be on the front edge of that. And there's really not much um, latitude that we have in that. There's, there's some forgiveness in the material, but we, it, it demands that we be fully present with it. We need to know by feeling, you can feel the weight of the drag of the glass on the pipe. You can feel when it's, when it's off center, you can feel when it's moving. Uh, and then visually, by seeing how much it's glowing. Uh, between those two cues, we can really tell where we're at with the piece. In the end, we're just doing the final details. And, um, and when those details are done, ideally, the, the whole piece has frozen into its final shape. I feel a deep spiritual connection with the volcano. Uh, when I come out here, I find myself in a deep, uh, reverent place when I'm in the presence of the flowing lava. And I come with offerings, I come with prayers, I come with my humility, I come looking to clear things in my life and to show me inspiration. Time and time again, um, I notice changes in my life when I come out and and make the connection with her. It's, it's unquestionable. I hear that um, Pele will either welcome you or kick you off the island. And she just keeps bringing me closer and closer. I'm just, I'm really so grateful.